Hello everyone. So last time we talked about carbohydrate, and in today's video we'll be thinking about lipids, which is another type of biological molecule. There are different types of lipids, and there are specific examples that you need to know. The first one we'll think about it,、uh, will be triglycerides. Now, triglyceride as The name implies it contains three of something because it says tri, and what it actually contains is one glycerol molecule and then three fatty acid chains. So, in a simplified way of drawing it, will be this way, and usually this is kind of what you can draw in exams as well. So this is a very simplified version of it, and I'll again make sure you label it glycerol and three fatty acids. Now it ends with ol, meaning it's、uh, is an alcohol and is an organic alcohol.、Um, and what makes it the alcohol part is the hydroxyl group at the end of、uh, of the bit here. So it's made up of three carbon、uh, atoms and then three hydroxyl groups, and obviously also hydrogen that sticks out on the other sides. As for each of these three bits here, it's kind of like three ends, so it's connecting to three fatty acids there. So it reacts with them. So the fatty acids, as the name implies, is an acid. Uh, and what it contains is the carboxyl group, which is COOH, and this is kind of what it looks like. There are exam questions where they set the mixed oil and pH indicator in practical and ask students to explain the drop in pH after mixing in lipase. Remember, triglyceride is broken down by lipase to release glycerol and fatty acids, and the fatty acids are what make the mixture acidic. Now, as you can see here. We've got the COH, and that's the carboxyl group, and then it's connected to CH two brackets N. Well, that means that it actually it's a fatty acid chain, as you can see here. So each of these little kinks refer to a carbon. So actually, it's made up of lots and lots of CH twos、uh, uh, that makes up the whole chain, and in the end, they've got the CH three. So a typical one could be about eighteen carbon、uh, long. So imagine that there are three of these fatty acids on、uh, uh, here. A hydroxyl group in the carboxyl part here will react with the hydrogen that way to make the water molecule. Okay, so what you then end up is this two bits joined up together in a structure that looks like this. Just to make it simple, I'm just drawing out one. Uh, connected bit, and but imagine that it's connected. There will be two more、uh, fatty acid chain that goes this、uh, this bit here、uh, as well. So what you'll then get is the ester bond, and the reason why we call it ester, for those of you who are doing A level chemistry as well, you will come across the compound ester, and they are usually very fragrant、um, uh, chemicals, and they are formed between a A, a, an organic alcohol and an organic acid. In this case, glycerol and fatty acids like that. And imagine that there are two more bits there. That whole bit is called triglyceride. So this reaction here is called the condensation reaction because it makes、uh, a water molecule. But if you imagine the other way around,、um, you can also use a.、Um, <clears throat> so technically speaking, there should be three、uh, water molecules here because you. You make two more bonds there, so there will be three ester bonds.、Uh, so if you reverse the reaction using three water molecules, you can break them down into one glycerol and three fatty acids again, and that is the same thing. Hydrolysis are、uh, same as in、um, carbohydrates, and that's triglyceride. Now, one more thing to think about in、uh, triglyceride is you can see that there are the fatty acid chains here. Now. Um, if all of these chains are straight、uh, single carbon-carbon bonds, that's what we called a saturated fatty acid chain. So that means each of these carbon atoms are saturated, are filled with、um, uh, hydrogens on either side. Now, sometimes in certain chains, what you'll get be things that that they will have a, a, a double bond. So in this case, rather than having two. Hydrogens on either end, they will just have one because each carbon can only make four bonds. So in this case, what you'll then what will actually what you actually find is normally if you got all single bonds, it kind of like this. If you got double bond, it will have a little kink like that. So in that case, we call it unsaturated、um, fatty acid chain because they're not all、um, surrounded by hydrogens. So that's the difference there. So you can have. More, even more than one double bond, so you get polyunsaturated fatty acid chains. So there are slightly different types、uh, within triglyceride.